start putting uh, it is excellent that our world has been developed so much that we have beauty such as the internet. But many are misusing social networking. Mm -hmm. um, Cyberbullying causes depression which follows innocent people everywhere. The rudeness online does hurt the person on the other side, but not all have this present in their mind. Um, this is one of the results from my questionnaire. I asked, have you ever been cyberbullied before? Nine people out of twelve um, answered yes, three answered no. So here it so this shows how frequent cyberbullying is and how much um, something needs to be done um, for it. Alright, um, all of these actions count as cyberbullying. Uh, I've just summarised them into a few points. Um, being cruel online, taking pictures of people without their permission and posting them online and making false claims or spreading rumors about people online. Um, I've um, researched some statistics on cyberbullying and I, I'll pick out one. One in three teens have experienced cyber threats online. Right, so I did some research on some stories. Right, so here's Sienna Ruffley. Um, she's a 14-year-old girl who was cyberbullied when she was 13. She received threatening messages online um, and then was torment tormented by a vile hate website. Pics of her were also um, on their captions such as slag and dirty Google. Those are some harsh, hurting words. Um, people were bringing hate to her at school and in the community because of this website. Um, she began cutting her arms with razor blades, her grades went down, and her attendance was decreasing. Um, it wasn't until her mother uh, contacted the police that everything got better. So, my campaign on the cyber building. Uh, my campaign's name will be Cyber Aid, and my slogan will be Take a Stand, Lend a Hand. Um, this is because it's aimed at innocent people who, who are victims of cyberbullying and um, also witnesses of cyberbullying. Um, my aim is to stop cyberbullying by advising the audience how to get out of this mess and stay happy whether they are in this position or not. I want to help them tackle this issue if they have, if they have it and give them the guidance to help others to have it. I want to continually motivate the victims and through doing this, I want to intimidate those who do cyberbullying. For example, I may make a post to trying to tell people they can get help by insulting criminals, making the victims feel a bit more powerful. So I may say that, um, here's an example, I, might, I may, might have a line saying, stand up for cyberbullies, they are cowards. And this way I'm mean intimidating them. Uh, my message is that there is help that people can get. I want the audience to realize that their life isn't over. Cyberbullying is just an obstacle which they will be able to tackle with their heads held up by. Right, so this is my primary, um, this is my target audience. Um, my primary audience for my campaign will be teenagers and young adults. And as you see, I have the age group, 12 to 21, because this age group is usually active online and some have not yet matured. Because adults have matured, they know um, what to post online and what not, and what's right and what's wrong, and if it would hurt anyone else online. Um, they will be, um, this is because um, they, they are innocent, what do you say, um, target audience will be innocent people and victims, so we're advising and motivating those who are in this mess and teaching those who are innocent um, about cyberbullying because they may be cyberbullied or I aim to reach out to those that are extrovert plus sociable because it's only them who witness or who encounter cyberbullying. Um, in this both things apply. My secondary audience will be innocent teens and young adults that are introvert. Um, I will also be targeting those who are criminals by intimidating Alright, so here is another um, result out of my questionnaire. And um, I asked which style of cooking effectively interests you, which was um, brilliant. Um, my options were shock, guilt, sex, guilt, aspiration, and humor. Four pick shot, um, three pick guilt, three pick sex pill, zero pick aspiration, and two pick humor. Um, exactly. um, for for my um, uh, for my campaign strategy, I picked aspiration 
shot and guilt. Um, uh, because um, shock and as uh, shock and guilt go forward with my campaign. And even though aspiration wasn't picked that much, um, it, it is useful for motivating and inspiring um, innocent um, victims to um, stand up to the police and get out of the mess. Um, for those victims in the primary audience, I'll be using aspiration because it will appeal to them as they want to get, get you, as I say, get out of this state that they are in. Um, I'll be using shock to make them attentive to my campaign, giving statistics will focus their attention on the harsh, harsh truth. Um, for my secondary audiences, I'll be using shock and aspiration, but for those, those who are criminals, I want to use guilt. It will be successful due to the pressure that will be put on the side bullies and they will prevent them from carrying on um, with bullying and try to build the scars to the Alright, so um, I picked out a few um, campaigns that use my strategy. Here's um, one COVID 2012. Um, COVID 2012 was by Invisible Children. Um, as you can see, um, the, the idea of COVID 2012 was launched this year. Um, there was a campaign made to ruin the Lord's resistance to arms, close us to turn children to kill us, child soldiers. The campaign uses shock as well as guilt by using statistics, videos, and personal stories of victims to shock those who didn't know of the story in depth. Um, this is very useful for getting the message of sampling around to those who don't have much attention to it. By using these new tools, they can also create they also did create guilt for the LRA, as they were consistently emphasizing cool, cold monsters. These two strategies do have a large effect on the person's emotion. Right, um, another one of the answers that I got from my questionnaire um, was an open question. I asked, um, what colour scheme do you think I should use for my campaign? And um, somebody um, commented and gave me a really good answer that I actually took on. Um, I, it was to use green, light blue and light pink. The person wrote that the blue relates with boys and pink relates with girls. And having these light colours would appeal to teens and young adults as at this age they are still into trendy fashion. And I took that point and I thought of keeping that as my colour scheme plus adding red. So the colours I want to represent my campaign with are light pink, light blue, green and red. I may add black to things because it does help creating posters to induce shocking guilt. The reasons why I picked the four colours as my colour schemes because they are light, which is useful for creating media that is supposed to aspire victims and innocent to stand up for salaries. And as I said, they live in teenagers in my lives. The kind of fonts I will pick are a mix of mature kind of fonts, so times and Roman, but still trendy, attractive looking fonts such as Comic Sans. Um, um, here are some of the ideas for my poster. Um, I will have a big main image in the middle to catch the um, uh, focus of uh, the audience and um, convey my message. Um, conventions will be on there such as the campaign logo, slogan, action line, title of the campaign, few lines in the sub subject and um, colours and typography. Um, I will add, and um, on some process I will incorporate um, the strategies of shock and aspiration and some of them will be of aspiration and guilt. And my ideas for my website, I'll have conventions so you can see up there, logos, colour scheme, Facebook, Twitter, blog, links, series pictures and fun illustrations, um, tabs, dividing sections and news articles. Um, Information uh, um, that will be included um, will be divided into um, this. Um, what the campaign is about, some willing explained, and the consequences of the article backing up. Um, advice on how to tackle um, cyber bullying if you're a victim, and um, advice on how to help those who are victims. Um, sections of information will also be divided into these four. Um, Subsections: um, uh, students, parents, so students, parents, teachers, and police. And, um, and for these um, sections, there will be additional information for those positions. 
and the other side of the so, um, Yeah, then I also did some research on elements of other campaigns that caught my attention. Yeah. I would really like to pick out this example. And this is from the Stop Sound Bullying campaign. Um, uh, this divides three age groups and three types of authorities. So you've got parents, carers, um, teachers, and the police. I want to include something very similar on my website because this will allow me to sort my information correctly. And this is very useful for all audiences as they can easily obtain the information that they want from my campaign. So, um, finally, coming to um, our area, Sutton. So, my campaign would appeal to many in Sutton because my primary and uh, secondary target audiences are teenagers and young adults, which links to the fact that there are five schools. Um, just near Sutton High Street, and there are many. Sutton is um, very popular for jobs which, and colleges, institutions which do have a lot of young youth people um, in Sutton. And um, I know people from other schools who encounter cyber bullying and have witnessed it. Um, cyber bullying is um, present in mostly every school. So, um, it will be really useful for a campaign like this to be in Sutton to help uh, um, teenagers who are in the advise them on how to get out of it and they will learn right from wrong.